soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss. The Black Baron, a big-time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. A few days later, she sent us a counteroffer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron in his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers and therefore, with her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. We proved to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. Hey everybody, DD2443 here with more Let's Play Slide 3, Honor Among Thieves. And this is one of my favorite chapters or episodes or whatever they're called in Slide History. It's like second or maybe ties for first. It's really awesome. I feel really, really, really bad for Jose Ortiz because Sly stole his pilot's license. What kind of name is Jose, Jose Ortiz anyway? Oh well, that's what I did about that. We're going to succeed in this year's Aces competition. We all need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret and no one knows who to mess with. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have them all on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfight. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby. But be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure. We all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Exactly. It makes perfect sense. So Dimitri's right there. So what I usually do is just walk over here and then jump down. Eh. Hey. Talk to me. There we go. Dimitri? Funny seeing you here. I might have paid you as a fly boy. Bentley just said he was here. With many likes, I have many profiles. They don't even try to understand the sincere enigma of believers. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. Is that true? And why should I talk to a too big, rooty fool crack a box like you? Question mark your bones. Why? Looks like I'll need to intimidate him a little. So for this one, you just need to click threaten to expose him. You might want to think about talking, pal. I could always rat you out to the Black Baron, then you'd be out of a job. I have no job, and you have no natural flight life. Go ahead, blow that whistle. I'll be seeing you in the loser's hot dog banquet. Oh wait, maybe not. You, you threaten violence, that's what you do, never mind. <laughs> 
Listen, pal, we both know who will win in a fight between the two of us. I'm not looking to start something here, but you know I'll finish it. Disregard what I just said earlier. It's a supersized aviator blowout. Start the fight in hotel and this qualification will be yours. You want that, Jack? God, I'm an idiot. We use a logical argument. I have a, a very bad memory at this part, apparently. So, I'm an idiot for the past two things I just said. Ignore those two. You both know you're going to tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk. So, spill it. Okay, okay, I did it. This guy's paranoid. Looks like we need to calm him down a little. Um On this one you compliment him. That's what you do, I'm pretty sure. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this black baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. so excited to die. That's good because then we kill all of them. They, they are all going to die. Okay, let's go. Please don't lock the front door to the hotel. This isn't a jail. But you're the baron. Once outside, things will get dangerous. God, there's no talking in this chapter. Well, it looks like I have grass stuck at the bottom of my feet. A lot, I, um, I actually went back and watched one of my Venice episodes back again, so to see if you can hear the audio. And you can hear it pretty well. So whenever I was like explaining to you what they said, like on the slideshow and I'm just pretty much copying exactly what Bentley said, I sounded like a complete idiot. Well, got plenty of guards on duty, and it's a long way up to his castle on the hill. So yeah, I sounded like an idiot in the Venice episode. Because I was copying what the characters in the game were saying, but you know. 
And then on my, um, on my Rumble Down Under, um, one of those, I think it was the second, yeah, it was the second episode of Rumble Down Under, I was talking about E3 and I kept calling Microsoft Xbox. So, yeah. Past couple videos, past like two recording sessions, I've been a moron, basically, what I'm saying. I used to slide these in time where if you tap the circle button, you land right there and don't jump off. Oh, oh come on. I was clicking the button there. Can he teleport or something? Okay, so what you want to do here is just hide between the windows whenever he's looking out in your direction. Now he turns his back, you just walk past. And you can hear him sitting in there talking to that guard who doesn't seem to care. Sorry, just us Black Bear and Goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal, I don't see any switch. But, but, but there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on, I got an idea. It's gonna fall. Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. Okay. He said, see you back at the safe house, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Because I have to end this episode, like, right now. Okay, so, see you guys in the next episode.